Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. I'm Paul Allen and the topic of this newsletter is the principles of Six Sigma. So we talk about the principles of Six Sigma. Um, we talk in here uh, in this newsletter about the principles that an engineer is going to use, that a black belt is going to use. You are faced with a technical problem. You're faced with a machine or a process that's not performing. What principles are you going to use? How are you going to think? So let's just break this down into very simple elements. The first principle in Six Sigma is that every process is the same. It doesn't matter whether it's a machine, whether it's a marketing process, whether it's a sales process, whether it's a molding machine, every process is the same and all black belts think of processes the same way. A process is just a series of inputs and outputs. And if you walk up to a technical problem and you look at it this way, every problem is the same to you in Sigma. So what's the basic principle that a black belt is going to use when thinking about inputs and outputs. Well, once you realize that you have inputs and outputs, the word that's missing is control, because the inputs control the outputs in a process, always. It's the laws of physics, essentially, and what Six Sigma is based on is the laws of physics. So we have inputs controlling outputs, and the basic principle that we have is if you get variation in, to a process, you are obviously going to get variation out in an equal amount, and it's variation that kills the performance of a process. It's variation that creates chaos. This kind of performance that you get from a process. Take a look at your graphs. Do you see graphs that look chaotic, that just move around in a dramatic fashion? Inputs control outputs. Variation in equals variation out. And the basic principle about sorting most technical problems is simply this. You go through every input in the process and you fix it. You control it as much as you possibly can. You control and fix on the input side of the process. The basic principle here is if it doesn't move, it can't hurt you. If it doesn't move, it can't hurt you. If it doesn't move, it can't be part of the problem. And the more you fix the inputs, the more control you exert out of the process. And when you exert control, the process starts to behave itself and the problem goes away. Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. I'm Paul Allen and the topic of this newsletter is Chaos, Control or Excellence. Your process is in one of these three states and if you're doing a Six Sigma project you need to know which state you're in so that you know which tools to apply and how to approach the problem. Essentially Chaos has its own unique way of fixing the problem. Control and excellence have their own unique way of fixing the problem. So let's look at what chaos is going to look like in your process. If your process is in chaos, typically when you look at a performance graph, it's going to look like this. It's going to be moving all over the chart. There's no obvious pattern. There might be runs up and down, sometimes it's performing brilliantly, sometimes it's performing terribly. That is typically a process in chaos. If you take a project on when the process looks like this, this problem is going to take three months to fix. To take a process of chaos to control is going to take three months to fix. It's going to need a team. 
and it is the management's responsibility to sort it out. If you're in control, however, your problem will look different on the chart. Your problem will look like this. The process is perfectly in control and then something special happens, something unique, something has, has gone wrong. One thing has gone wrong typically. This type of problem will probably take three hours, three days maybe to fix. It can often be fixed by one person and that person is often local to the machine. It could be the operator, could be the technician, could be an engineer, but it's only going to take one person. Could take three minutes, three hours, or three days to fix. It's going to be very quick. Chaos, on the other hand, three months to take a process out of chaos. So control and excellence typically look like this problem and are very quick to fix. Chaos, on the other hand, and this is typically your Six Sigma project. Here's where you want your specialists to work. Here's where your black belts and your green belts work. They are gonna turn chaos into control. They are gonna take three months to do it and they need a team and they need a project. Chaos, control and excellence. As management, you need to know which state you're in so you know which action to take. Most of the time, you think you have this problem and you're trying to fix the problem in three hours or three days when actually it's going to take this long. And of course, what you tend to find is you think you fixed it, and three weeks later it comes back. And you think you fixed it, and three weeks later it comes back. That would never happen to, of course, would it? Um, that's because you don't know if you're in chaos, control, or excellence. Subscribe or drop me an email and I hope to hear from you soon.